Have you recently lost a lot of weight and now have a much slower metabolism trying to figure out what to do next? Watch this. Our next caller is Carlos from Georgia. Carlos, what's happening? How can we help you? Hey, how's it going, guys? Um, I just wanted to say thank you. Uh, finding your podcast has helped me kind of put some filters and wait through a lot of the BS that's out there. So thanks. Cool. Uh, right. Yeah, I'm, I'm a relatively recent listener. About a year ago, I started um, after I started myself. You know, I was a pretty big guy back in 2018, changed the lifestyle, lost 75 kilos more or less. Kilos? That's like 160, 170 pounds. Uh, yeah, a whole person. Wow, whole man. Person. Great Congra job, dude. Congratulations. Incredible. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and I never quite uh, followed a program. I worked for a trainer for a very little time um, just to get started at the gym because I had never done that. I've never been athletic. Um, so our first few months, I worked with the trainer, and then I kind of took it on my own and just bought aesthetics because um, I wanted to follow a program for the first time, like a real – structured, well done program, not just me going in and saying, okay, I'm going to do deadlifts today. And then I'll try and complement that as best I can. Um, so my main thing is I want to know how to eat because I got great uh, losing weight, you know, by being in a deficit. Um, I have no idea how to do the reverse, uh, not without like the last time I tried to do a, even a little bulk, I ended up putting all body fat, zero muscle, and I'll be honest, I'm terrified of being that guy again, you know, being 30% body fat. That's a big insecurity of mine. I deal with it every day. Um, so any tips you can give me to A, get started on that first program with the right foot and B, keep my nutrition doing well. You know, I eat all organic now, keep the trash out, um, eat pretty well. I just want to make sure I keep it consistent when I'm doing a bull. For the first time. Yeah, man. Well, first off, great job, dude. That's a tremendous amount of weight to lose. It's a very, very challenging struggle. I want to comment too on your fear of, of going back to, you know, how you were before. I First of all, I understand that, but I do want you to also understand that that fear is going to prevent you from doing what you need to do to continue to move forward. Um, I had a very similar fear of being skinny and so it prevented me from doing things that um, I could have learned from uh, with my body. I figured it out later on as I got older. I don't have the same fear I had before, so now I can manipulate diet and training in ways that are more beneficial versus what I used to do, which was constant bulk and constant fear of, of losing even a single you know pound on the scale. So consider that, okay? If you want to, you got to revert, in, in order to reverse out of it, first off, you have to have a good workout program and send the right muscle building signal. MAPS aesthetic is good. It's high volume though. And a lot of people jump to that first. And I would say that MAPS Anabolic is probably more appropriate for more people. So I'm not saying aesthetic isn't appropriate. It's just a lot of volume. It's a very high volume program. Well, it's also not ideal for what his goal is. Actually, yeah. so, if go, I can give you some context. Could you translate that, Doug? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hold on one second, Carlos. You're breaking Carlos, up. yeah, we have yes. a, we're, you, you just froze there. Could you re, uh, start from the beginning of what you were say, saying there? Oh, yeah, I lost you guys, too. So I was just saying, for context, I did start the whole journey in 2018. Ever since, though, um, I pretty much became a gym rat. Um, you know, like I said, I don't follow a program, but I do go six days a week. Actually, when I was going through MAPS Anabolic, MAPS Aesthetic, one of the things that attracted me to you guys' program was, hey, this is actually less volume than what I'm doing right now. Because right now I'm spending two and a half, three hours at the gym, and that's Sometimes I'm not even doing cardio, it's just all day weights. So yeah. I, one thing I've learned from listening to y'all is maybe I need to step back, give my body some chance to um, recover, yeah. build some muscle and then come back. And I thought, hey, doing three sessions, heavy sessions, and then in between doing those, you know, focus sessions and being a little easier on my body might be what I need as opposed to because I went off the deep end at some point and yeah. at, at the end, like after I lost all that weight, I got so excited with what I could do now mm -hmm. that I was doing, you know, orange theory fitness in the morning, yoga at night, weights in between. Um, I went way too hard yeah. Um, yeah. and I stepped it back, but then I, calm, I caught myself yeah. doing the same thing again, but with all weights now. I was so, like, oh, so Carlos, your intuition is right, bro. Yeah. Your intuition yeah, is right. You. And Sal listen. is even more right with what he said first to you, which is, the thing that's going to keep you from progressing is that exact fear of you're going to go back to being where you were before, and you you need to you're not going to okay, 
you you've definitely got way better habits you already have a way better understanding around eating in a caloric deficit and strength training but there are some things that you need to start moving towards if you really want to break this plateau and you got to kind of trust the process and the first step and the, we're going to send you maps anabolic for free you need to get over to that program okay so it, it's even less volume than maps aesthetic and it's only three days a week of strength training which should only take you about an hour and you should be out of that gym and the reason why this is so important is part of what we need to do with you right now is to build your metabolism up and that's the reason why you're at this hard plateau right now is you've done an incredible job getting there and the only real answer to continuing to lose more weight is for from your perspective right now is creating a bigger calorie deficit which would mean training longer and more and or eating less and I'm assuming you're probably already pretty low calorie right now, and that's not where we want to be. Someone your size should be able to eat in the mid-2000s comfortably, maybe even higher. Uh, and so that should be our goal right now is to slowly increase calories and get you to a place. And part of what's going to happen, as soon as you switch from low cal, moving like crazy, to moving less and more calories, weight's going to come on at first. And you got to be okay with a few pounds coming on at first because the long-term goal is that we speed this metabolism up and then come back down the other direction. Otherwise, you're going to get caught in this nasty rut of the the going like crazy just to lose a few pounds and you then you fall off of it, then you gain back that way and you keep yo-yoing back and forth. Yeah, aesthetics might have been a lower amount of volume that we were doing before, but it's still probably too much for what you're trying to do and where you're coming from. So here's the deal. You don't even have to bump your calories yet. Just go do MAPS Anabolic, keep your calories the same. That should start to get things moving. And then slowly, like 50 more calories a day, try that out for a week or get two. Get them in the forum too, And 50 so. more after that, and then do that for a week or two. And then slowly build it up with MAPS Anabolic, and then you'll see your strength gains go up. As your strength gets better, that's, a, that's the best sign you could see that you're moving in the right direction. We're going to put you in the forum too, Carlos, because I'd like to follow along with your journey. That way, when you're feeling like afraid or down, you can tag one of us and we can get you back on track. Yeah, okay? because it, we're, this is a major, this is a, I don't know, I would say between the three of us, this is probably one of the most common yeah. clients that we would handle. Like this is very common, someone that in a, a situation just like yourself, and I know firsthand how hard that mental hurdle is yeah. to get Sometimes through. Sometimes it takes years to break that That's right. So hurdle. use that forum. Make sure you tag us. Make sure you talk to us every time you're questioning anything you hear or what you're potentially doing. Allow us to kind of help you work through that because what you need to do is probably going to be really difficult for you right now because of that fear, but we got to get past that if we're really going to help you and get to a place where you can intuitively eat, intuitively train, and feel very satisfied with the calories you're eating and not feel like you're hammering your body six, seven days a week just to maintain where you're at. Gotcha. I understand. All right. All right. All right, Carlos. It's going to be tough, dude, but you're, but you're, you're, you're totally on the right track. We just got to move you in a in a little bit better, more productive um, direction. We got you, buddy. You just hang. Yeah. You just make sure you talk to us in the forum. Yeah, absolutely. Just um, can I recap real quick? So I'll start in anabolics, no problem. Keep calories the same. Maybe go fifty up. What every week? Every other week? I would um, go. I just go fifty up. Wait and see how your body weight does uh, as it stabilizes and you feel good. Then you can go up another fifty. You can go. You can go as slow as you want. And keep it ten thousand steps or so. That's no fine. Cardio. Nope. No. Nope. That's perfect. All right, perfect. If Thank you, you so much. Hey, but Carlos, you want to throw yoga in there or you want to throw stretching and mobility? Have, I mean, fun, I, have fun with it. I mean, yeah, I kind of have to because I'm getting certified as a teacher, but oh. yeah. <laughs> Good for you, man. Right. Well, there yeah. you go. Yeah, stuff like that is, is totally fine. Okay, cool. Appreciate it, guys, so All much. All right, right, man. We'll see you on the inside. Oh, boy. That, that fear of you know going back to where you were before, that yeah. is a very nasty driver it, it it definitely hammered it, it prevented me from learning a lot for a long time well it, i mean that's the thing you lose all this weight and it took you know so much effort to get there and it's it's like you just get so excited that you get to this place that you want to keep adding 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 i had i had a handful of clients like this that it would take yeah. a long time to get them out of that mentality that you know it you didn't have to keep um adding all of these things and all these extra activities to to be able to stave off that um you know that that weight that was the looming in their mind i really hope that he stays in contact with us in the forum because Same. where he's at right 
right now is you talk. Did you hear we said Orange Theory in the morning oh, plus yeah. two hour weight Dude. training routines and then yoga at night? Yeah, yeah this was, that this that is and I'm we didn't even ask. It's a lot. I don't know if he's counted his calories, but I can guess that he's probably really low on the calorie yep. intake in order to have lose lost that much weight over the last and year. And with all that activity, yeah. You know, uh, Justin, you, you, you played at a pretty high level with football. Is there a difference when you're playing the game to not lose versus playing the game to win? Oh, 100%. Yeah, so when you get stuck in this state of mind, you're not doing it to progress. To prevent defense. You're, yeah, you're doing it just to fear of, of going mm -hmm. back. And boy, does that change the strategy and change your behaviors, you know, and, and in ways that are not beneficial. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.